Okay, so um, I was tasked with the, the comparison of players, coaches, GMs, and being able to mix between the two. I'm going to tackle just players and coaches, because if I add GMs too, there just isn't enough room on this board or enough time for me to get it done in. Um, I, I, I put it down as players who have been able to do both. And, and again, this is just a, a list of who I think kind of proved themselves on both lists. Guys who proved themselves as players, there's a reason for divisions here. And guys who were better as coaches than NHL players. The guys who've done it as both, Randy Carlisle. It's easy to forget he was a player, but I remember him as a very excellent defenseman. Dave Tippett was a very good defensive forward. And I know uh, his, his win-loss record might be a little bit spotty in terms of where he compares to some of the other guys. But he just didn't have very many good teams. He's a very good coach. I was very upset when Dallas, lost, Dallas got rid of him. Uh, Lindy Ruff has had a very long career as a coach and had a very long career as a player. Uh, Daryl Sutter, Brian Sutter. Brent Sutter as well, I, I, I think, kind of deserves to be on here. If your name's Sutter and it's not Dwayne. Dwayne only coached like less than a full season. Uh, Joel Quenville, of course. It's easy to forget Joel Quenville had a very established career as a Hartford Whalers defenseman. He was actually pretty darn good, too. Uh, Pat Quinn. Easy to forget, Pat Quinn was a defenseman before my time watching hockey. Uh, Jacques Lemaire, who of course went in the Hall of Fame as a player and could have got there as a coach too. Al Arbor had a very solid career. I think he played 620 games in the NHL before he became the coach of the Islanders, and they won four straight Stanley Cups. And and there's your both, in my eyes, personally. And, and I know there's others that are still around. Uh, guys who were better as players, Gretzky is the first one that obviously comes to mind. I think I think Phoenix slash Arizona would have kept Gretzky around just for the name value. Um, I think if Gretzky wanted to come back as a coach, I think Arizona would be the first team to say, hey, we'll take you back. Uh, because he does sell tickets, and he is a big name. He's the biggest name in hockey history. Um, Paul Holmgren. I thought about whether or not to include him, and I thought, yeah, yeah, better as a player than as a coach. Uh, he had a lot of penalty minutes. He was as tough as nails. Um, and then, of course, you can get into GM and ask yourself the question of whether or not he was successful as a GM and a player, and I may do that video at a later time. Uh, Denny Savard. It just didn't last very long. Patrick Roy, he had the solid first year, and then it just kind of fell apart on him. Uh, Tony Granato had, I think he had two runs with Colorado, if, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Brad Park, very short run as a coach. John McClain, famously very short run as a coach. Brian Trache, also a very short run as a coach during a time where the New York Islanders were in a lot of uh, chaos. And you think it's bad now. Early 2000s, it was complete and total chaos at all times. Ironically, it settled down after Gar Snow got there as GM. He'd been goalie and they made him GM. It was so weird. Uh, George Armstrong, Hall of Fame career. Didn't coach very long with the Toronto Maple Leafs. And Rick Kehoe, who... Put together a fantastic career as a Pittsburgh Penguin. The guy is still a Pittsburgh Penguin at heart. Didn't last very long as a coach. These guys are in here due to the fact that I think they they could have done another run. I think they did relatively well, but with their resumes as players, they didn't really have to prove anything to anybody. Adam Oates, Dale Hunter, Bill Barber, Guy Carboneau. Dale Hunter's been offered other jobs. As far as I know, he has been offered other jobs and turned it down. He doesn't want to go back to the NHL. Uh, he's quite happy in juniors. Uh, it suits him better than NHL. And the maybes. Are Phil Housley and Rick Tockett going to be on this list? I'm not putting Rick Tockett on this list based on what he's done so far in Arizona because his his uh, his time there hasn't been long enough for me to say, oh yeah, no, he's a disaster as a coach. He hasn't coached long enough. And his time in Tampa, he, he, he wasn't there very long either, and it's just hard to say. He likely does end up in this category. Uh, Phil Housley, is, again, it's way too early to say, with his time in Buffalo only being 40 games long, but it could happen. Now, guys who are known for their coaching, uh, if they have an asterisk, they never played in the NHL. Uh, Bruce Boudreaux, Mike Keenan, who was never drafted. Scotty Bowman, never drafted. Uh, as in, I, I can't find any record of them ever being signed to a team, brought into a team. I understand the entry draft likely wasn't around when these guys were playing. Especially Bowman. Um, 
Peter Laviolette, who played a grand total of 12 games in the NHL. Mark Crawford, uh, very well remembered in Vancouver as a player and yet didn't play very long. Um, far better remembered as a coach, uh, one of, uh, a fiery coach, uh, a fun coach to watch. Uh, I enjoyed him in Colorado and in, in Vancouver. That being said, anytime I hear he's in, in the running for another coaching job, I kind of think, eh, pump the brakes on that. Um, Barry Trotz, who never played in the NHL. Alain Vigneault, who played briefly in the NHL. Ron Wilson, who briefly played in the NHL. Claude Julien, same. Uh, Jacques Martin, never played in the NHL. John Tortorella, never played in the NHL. And Terry Murray, who had a, a, about 100 games in the NHL, but not a head coach. Okay, so um, you'll notice that I don't have Ken Hitchcock in here. I don't have... Uh, there are a few coaches that have had really solid careers. I can't find a record of them playing hockey. And if I can't find a record of them playing hockey like Roger Nielsen, I looked up. If I don't find anything on Hockey DB that they, they played hockey, and Hockey DB is pretty darn good and pretty accurate, um, then they're not really on this list because they were just coaches. They weren't players and coaches. So there's there's my list of players who were able to do both, better as players, and better as coaches. Uh, let me know which one you remember most as being a, a flop on one level or another. I know I didn't get everybody. I went with the more obvious ones for the most part. The ones that maybe were, were kind of obvious to me on, on some level or obvious to, to a lot of fans. Didn't last very long, that kind of thing. Um, and, and stuck with that when it comes to the players and with the coaches. Um, I, I left some guys out too that Maybe had half decent careers, half decent. I'm going just more with the guys who are really well known and and went for a long time as a coach. But be feel free to fill in uh, anybody else you'd like to discuss in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. And thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.